What's up, everyone? Welcome to the March 20th edition of the NBA Bet Pro video. I'm your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. And we have six NBA games to find some NBA player props from tonight. And we're going to use the NBA Bet Pro model to do so. If you're not familiar with this model, it is put together, created, maintained by our NBA DFS projections team, the same group of guys that has had a bunch of success in DFS built out this model to help us with our prop betting. It makes us more efficient. It helps us find lines easier. Uh, and then obviously also works as a projection model as well. And so we're going to walk through some of the most popular sports books as we always do. But first, remember to subscribe to the Odd Shopper YouTube channel. Also hit the thumbs up, the like button below this video. Helps us out a lot. Now starting with BetMGM. At the top, we have Keegan Murray under five and a half rebounds at minus 155. You'll see that he is highlighted in this faint red color. That's because we have Trey Lyles and um, Kevin Herter questionable for Sacramento. If one or both of those guys are out, it does increase Keegan Murray's playing time projection. It doesn't, neither of them directly impact his rebounding, uh, but they do impact his playing time. So I don't want to take an under on him until we get actual statuses from those guys. Next, we have RJ Barrett under four and a half rebounds at plus 120. He projects for 4.3 rebounds tonight against Minnesota. That gives us a 48% chance of winning this bet, a 6% expected return. The S bet percentage is 4%. And if you're not familiar with what that is, uh, that's defined up here at the top. It's the percentage of your bankroll that we recommend wagering, given how likely you are to win and your expected return. And then the SEV, which is also defined up here at the top as the percentage that you can expect your bankroll to grow by if you wager the recommended amount is 0.17% in this case on RJ Barrett. Moving over to Caesars, Keegan Murray again at the top. Then we have Patrick Beverly under four and a half rebounds at minus 123. He's highlighted in yellow. Uh, Alex Caruso is questionable for this one. If Caruso is out, we could see a couple more minutes from Patrick Beverly. So I'm not really in a hurry to bet this one either. Similarly here with Draymond Green, under seven and a half rebounds. Kevon Looney is questionable for Golden State. If Looney is out, you are likely to get more minutes at center for Draymond Green, so you would probably see that rebounding projection increase. Then we have R.J. Barrett. We already talked about that one. His line here on Caesars is plus 112, so not as good a price as you're getting on BetMGM. If you can only bet Caesars, go ahead and take that bet, but if you have the ability to bet multiple sites, uh, take it on BetMGM instead. But since we already talked about that, going to continue moving down the list. Andrew Nemhard over two and a half rebounds at minus 119. Now, this one I think you can go ahead and take. He is highlighted in that same faint red that Keegan Murray and Draymond Green are. But the difference here is that we are recommending the over. When we have questionable players, we project them in. So we have several questionable guys on Indiana, whether that is Chris Duarte, uh, Benedict Matherin, Isaiah Jackson, Traveling Queen. The last two don't matter at all for Andrew Nemhard, but Matherin and Duarte certainly could impact his playing time. But we have him projected over two and a half rebounds, assuming those guys are in. If those guys are out, it's likely only going to increase Nemhard's projection because we could comfortably give him a couple of more minutes. We have him projected for 3.9 rebounds tonight in this favorable spot against the Hornets. He's minus 119. We have a 55% chance of winning. That gives us a 1% expected return. We recommend wagering 1.6% of your bankroll, and you can expect it to grow by 0.02%. So clearly not a very exciting bet to make here. Perfectly fine to pass on. But uh, right now, while we wait on this injury news up at the top, it is the best non-RJ Barrett bet available on Caesars. Now, before we move over to DraftKings and FanDuel, we are offering a seven-day free trial of the NBA Bet Pro model. So take advantage of that if you haven't already. Like I said before, it should increase your efficiency. It should help you very quickly find the best bets that you can make on whichever book you're looking to bet on. If you can bet multiple books, we have the best bets tab here that is going to quickly just identify where the best prices are across all of these books. So take advantage of that if you haven't already. Now moving over to DraftKings, similar names, similar problems here uh, as far as you know making this video right now. Keegan Murray, under three and a half rebounds, depends on statuses for that game. We have plus 125 on RJ Barrett under four and a half rebounds. That is the best price that we've seen so far. So again, if you are able to shop lines, take it on DraftKings first. Uh, you'll see in the best bets tab, uh, for some reason, it's actually not showing up, but um, it would typically show you that the best place to get that RJ Barrett bet is DraftKings at plus 125. Um, Steph Curry under five and a half assists 
No real problem taking this one, even though it is an under. When you think about who is questionable for Golden State, it's not guys that really have an impact on Steph Curry, and his playing time is going to be his playing time regardless. He's not getting more minutes because Kevon Looney doesn't play or something like that. So I think you can take the under 5.5 assists for Curry at plus 145. He projects for 5.5 assists, which gives you a 44% chance of winning the wager, an 8% expected return. We recommend wagering 4% of your bankroll, and you can expect it to grow by 0.21%. And finally, on FanDuel, Aaron Neesmith at the top, over four and a half rebounds. So this is similar to what we were saying with Nemhard on, I believe it was Caesars. Neesmith's projection could certainly change depending on the statuses of Chris Duarte and Benedict Matherin. But with them projected in, we still recommend the over here. We have him projected for 5.4 rebounds with them in. That number really can only go up depending on Indiana news throughout the day. So taking this at plus 110 looks good. You have a 49% chance of winning this wager. 4% expected return. We recommend wagering 3.2% of your bankroll, and you can expect it to grow by 0.1%. Now, before we recap the bets that we just talked about, if you have not already signed up and deposited on any of the sports books mentioned, check out the pinned link below this video. It has sign up, the, uh, sign up bonuses, deposit bonuses for these books. Take advantage of those if you have not already. It's a great way to grow your bankroll right out of the gate. And maintaining a bankroll on multiple books is a very easy way to increase your profitability because it allows you to use that best bets tab, shop lines, and get the best prices available. Now to recap on BetMGM, under four and a half rebounds for RJ Barrett at plus 120. On Caesars, over two and a half rebounds for Andrew Nemhard at minus 110. Very marginal bet. I think you probably should just wait and look later uh, once we have more information on Caesars. But if you are absolutely betting right now and only on Caesars, Andrew Nemhard over two and a half uh, rebounds at minus 119. Also, the aforementioned RJ Barrett under four and a half rebounds at plus 112. But uh, you can find better prices elsewhere on that one. On DraftKings, uh, the best price available on RJ Barrett. So if you have a bankroll on multiple sites, take it on DraftKings. Uh, but next, Steph Curry under five and a half assists at plus 145. And finally, on FanDuel, over four and a half rebounds for Aaron Neesmith at plus 110. That's all I have for you tonight. today. Good luck on your bets tonight, everyone.